Hey guys, so I just wanted to come and talk to you a little bit about intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting has changed my life. I am in, absolutely in love with it. So, yeah. <laughs> Here are a couple of questions that people have had and then I'll talk to you about why it's helped me out uh, so far in my weight loss journey. So, here goes. Alright, so intermittent fasting is when you take a block of time to fast and then you're taking the other block of time to eat. So, for instance, there's a couple different types and I'll show you those in a little bit, but the one that I started off with was the 16-8 method. So I'm fasting for 16 hours out of the day and I'm eating for 8 hours out of my day. So my time to eat is 12.30 to 8.30 p.m. It's actually not too hard if you stick with it for a couple days, but a lot of people find the word fasting very scary and there's so many more benefits to actually doing this and it helps out a lot. At least for me it did during my uh, weight loss journey. So yeah, here's a couple tips to get started. <laughs> When you're starting intermittent fasting, I actually started cold turkey. I kind of read about what it was and I was just like, you know what, I could do this. I was already skipping breakfast pretty much and having like a either a late breakfast or an early lunch. So I was already eating around probably 10, 11 o'clock uh, in the morning and I'm just like, you know what, I'm going to push it until 12.30. The bulk of my day was at night. I would either snack a lot at night. So for me, cutting it off at 8.30 was really uh, the more difficult part. But once you did do it for a couple days, it really gets easier. So if you're starting with intermittent fasting and you have, you're used to waking up in the morning at 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock, having your oatmeal or your uh cereal, what I would suggest is that you ease yourself into it. Maybe taking, um, if you're used to eating at maybe 8 o'clock, pushing it back an hour each day until you get to whatever 12 o'clock, uh, 1 o'clock uh, time frame that you would like to start uh, your eating. So definitely don't have to go cold turkey like I did, but if you're up for the challenge, definitely do it. It's really not so hard. You're basically just skipping breakfast or, you know, having an early dinner and not eating after that. So you got to be careful. But yeah. So while I'm in my fasting window, I drink black coffee with one Splenda and I drink a ton of water <laughs> and I also in the beginning when I was starting to get used to fasting and not you know eating at a certain amount of time I would actually choose sugar-free gum just because I kind of wanted my taste buds to have something or I just wanted to chew on something but I really don't know if that's the best thing, but to just, you know, completely carry it on uh, for the whole time. Because once you start eating, your mouth starts a digestive process and it probably makes you start to feel uh, hungry. <laughs> so I wouldn't suggest it all the time in the beginning, just so that your body gets used to it. Another thing that I would drink is green tea with Splenda again. And both the green tea and the coffee actually help to suppress my appetite. So if you're going to do uh, coffee or green tea, I would suggest maybe using that as a way to suppress your appetite a little bit further when you're starting your journey. So 
I would actually drink a cup of coffee at around 11 o'clock where I would used to eat uh, something for breakfast and that actually got me through to about 12 o'clock so I then I only had like another half an hour to go so those are just a couple little things to to get you through the the day and for me the nighttime eating was a problem so for that first week of me starting intermittent fasting I made sure that I went to sleep early <laughs> so I didn't have to think about the food I would usually you know I had really bad insomnia but <laughs> I would force myself to go to sleep at around 9 o'clock instead of uh, 12 o'clock like I usually do and after about a week, I was fine. I didn't really care about eating after 8.30 and it wasn't really a difficult thing at all. So, yeah. All right. Okay, so with intermittent fasting and eating, there's people that eat whatever they want on this method, um, this intermittent fasting thing <laughs> but you have to understand at the same time that you can't just eat whatever you want and think that you're going to lose weight which you can while intermittent fasting but it's going to be a lot harder so if you're trying to lose weight definitely stick to your deficit while you're intermittent fasting because if you are gaining weight on it you are eating way too much <laughs> but you're just with your calories, you're just condensing it to, you know, a shorter window of time, which for me, I absolutely love because now I can eat, you know, a 600 calorie lunch if I want to, or stretch it out to having like an 800 calorie dinner if I want to and having a small lunch. So it helps to satisfy the craving that I have for having bigger meals instead of feeling like I'm eating like a little rabbit throughout the day with like 200 calories here, 200 calories there. Yeah, no, I eat big meals and I don't feel deprived at all. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so when I started off my weight loss journey, I did not really incorporate that much exercise into uh, trying to lose weight. I just now started to incorporate it every single day of the week. So in order for me to lose the 25 pounds that I did in the eight weeks, I don't think the exercise really uh, did too much of it. But now that I've adjusted to the intermittent fasting uh, window of eating, I actually exercise fasted. And I, I start my exercising around like 6 o'clock in the morning. So I have a good ways to go until 1230. But since I've been doing it for so long, I think my body is absolutely fine with uh, doing it fasted. But you don't have to. You can do it right before you eat or you can do it you know after you eat whatever works best for you and that's kind of why I say to ease into whatever you're doing especially with the weight loss journey so that your body can get adjusted don't just do you know five or six different things at work working out intermittent fasting uh, you know changing your diet all at once because you get overwhelmed so if you're gonna start start with intermittent fasting I didn't even um, you know, worry about the calories the first week. As long as I was sticking within those win that window of eating time, I was good. So some of the benefits of intermittent fasting that have helped me in this journey is the fact that within the first week, I have no more hunger pains. The only time I feel hunger pains now is if I am dehydrated, and that's it. So since I've been intermittent fasting, I, I don't feel true hunger pains at all, which helps to, uh, to not eat like crazy if I, I don't want to, unless it's like the time of the month and I just go crazy anyway. But I don't even get to, you know, my 16-hour 
fasting window, I'm like, oh my god, I'm starving, I need to eat. Like, I can go another couple hours and I don't even care. And uh, my cravings for different things have gone away, mostly. I just, I love it. And like I said before, I'm able to eat so much more than having like these little 200 calorie uh, meals at a time or snacks when I can have a big 800 calorie dinner and not have to worry about, oh my God, like I just went crazy and, um, you know, went over calories because I'm a pig and I just want to eat stuff. But <laughs> yeah, so that really, really helps a lot. For my 16-8 window that I started with, I can now stretch it to 24. I can do almost like a 24-hour fast if I want to. If I'm having like, uh, you know, a different uh, week where I'm eating a little bit more than usual, I can always adjust, definitely. And that's another thing. Once you get adjusted to doing intermittent fasting, you don't have to be crazy about sticking within the window if you have some kind of special event. The other day I had uh, friends over and we actually went out to dinner and I knew we weren't going to be eating until 10 o'clock. So what I did was I pushed my uh, eating window up a little bit to about 2 o'clock and then the following day, I pushed my intermittent fasting window about uh, two or three hours. So that way, I was still fasting for 16 hours. And, you know, the day after, I just kind of, I stopped at 8, 8.30 and then continued my 12.30, 8.30 uh, fasting window. But there's different variations of it that you can do. And you don't have to feel like, oh my god, you know, I'm going out with friends and or family and, you know... They don't uh, want to eat until late. You can do it. But I would suggest just giving yourself a good month to just adjust to that before doing anything crazy. But do it every day. Don't make it something that you do two or three times a week. Your body's not going to get used to it and you're not going to uh, have the same kind of benefits, I think, unless you're... It's a lifestyle change. For me, this is my lifestyle change and I'm going to be doing this forever. This was the one thing that I can focus on without feeling like I'm on some kind of a restrictive eating plan. It's not. It actually makes me feel like I can do this, uh, you know, until I die and... It's just healthy. It's good for you. <laughs> but yeah, so that's me. So those were a couple different things uh, about intermittent fasting and how I started and a couple tips for getting you started as well. If you have any more questions, please feel free to ask in the comment se section. <laughs> and uh, you know, I'll get back to you on that. And if you are really looking to have a lifestyle change that's not restrictive and will help you in the long run accomplish your your goals for weight loss, if you stick within your calorie deficit, then definitely try intermittent fasting. The first couple of days are not easy. As long as you stick with it, I promise it will get easier. And the cravings and everything else, that's really probably helping to... Uh, hurt your d weight loss journey and you're giving into those kind of temptations will go away um, And the hunger pains who does who who likes to have hunger pains all the time nobody so yeah I Will talk to you guys later. Please like and subscribe to follow my journey and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye